There's some quotes that when you hear them, Ali, you think, OK, is he saying that because of who else is in the room or is he saying that because he believes it? The quote is Infantino, the FIFA president, coming out and saying that the US could soon be a, a superpower. Now, Donald Trump was in the room in Switzerland as mm. well. Is this to try and appease his guest or is this something he actually believes? Well, actually, this is not something that we haven't heard in the past. There's been other people that have come out and, and, and look at the infrastructure of the United States and look at the resources available and look at the stadiums and training facilities and amount of players available that have come out and said, well, they are on the verge. This is the moment. This is when they turn the corner. Well, I feel, having been involved with the game in the United States for as long as I have, I feel like I've been hearing this for the last yeah, 20 years. it's not years. new, is it? No, it, it's for the last 20, 30 years because that infrastructure has always been there. Mm -hmm. And uh, the training facilities and the amount of players and the interest and so on and so forth. Yes, it continues to grow to some degree, but it's, it, that presence and that, and that thought and almost that, that willingness and hope and wishfulness that the U.S. is about to turn the corner seem to have been there for a long time now. That, that's how the academy systems came about. That's how the youth national teams sort of came about. And this is what we're going to do. And this is how we're going to develop players. Because we are on the verge. The reality doesn't quite match the speech. And, and that is the part that a guy like Greg Berhalter uh, will look at and say, all right, how is it that we match our current reality with what we think we can be and what we could potentially be come 2026, which may just be why Infantino is bringing it up because, well, and he addressed the fact that President Trump was involved in bringing the World Cup to the United States and Mexico and Canada and kind of brought it all around and said, well, essentially hinting that at 2026, maybe the U.S. would be a team that, that certainly has turned the corner and could be a, a world soccer power. I think they're way behind that curve. I don't think we're quite there yet. And I think there's a whole lot of work that needs to be done. How about let's just focus on the now mm -hmm. and being better now. World soccer power, that's way, way in advance. And I'm not quite sure we're any closer now than what we were, say, 10 years ago. Greg Berhalter, in charge of the US national team. As far as the bigger picture is concerned for US soccer, how, how much of a part does he have to play? Because it's much bigger than, than just the performances of the national team. That's going to be the thing that drives things forward. Mm. But for everything that's behind the scenes, for facilities, for this infrastructure mm. that we keep talking about, his role is how big right now? Well, it, it's big within the finite structure of the full national team. But I don't think that the impact, we can, we can diminish how big it can be. Because if you have a, a full national team that does very well, that is competitive, that is recognized around the world, that people are excited to be a part of, that American players are selling themselves or, or, or they're part of the, the market and in, in the international market and that, that those players are going for high prices, all those things drive the interest of U.S. soccer and drive the interest of people around U.S. soccer. Here's the thing. We don't ever sit back and say, let me tell you something. I saw that U16 team for the national team. They were great. That conversation doesn't happen. It doesn't happen with a casual fan. It doesn't happen with a hardcore fan. They are talking about the full national team. And if the full national team is doing well, then everybody thinks everything underneath is, is a trickle-down effect and everybody's doing well. Nobody ever says, hey, you know, the U18s, the U19s, the 21s, what are the 20s? They're doing great. No, no, no. What we care is, all right, all those teams do well, develop players, and then you get to the full national team so that those guys can be what they're expected to be and that this team is expected to be. I think right now the expectations for the U.S., for people within U.S. soccer, they're very high. But I do not know that the group of players that is available actually matches those expectations. And in that gap, that gap, that's, that's the one that you're going to have a difficulty closing because you can expect everything you want and Infantino can say anything he wants, but if the results don't back it up and the players don't back it up, the U.S. isn't exactly moving forward. Yeah, rather than be a world superpower, just let the U.S. qualify for the next World Cup, a step at a time. <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.